Keeping San Francisco city streets clean with street sweeping is hard enough. But think about this. One neighborhood has been without it for decades. Our Kelsey Thord shows us how neighbors are trying to get the service back after banning it decades ago. Phoebe Douglas has lived in Russian Hill her entire life. Her mom bought the apartment she lives in now years ago, and she can't imagine living anywhere else. To me, it has a lot of character. Um, it's very walkable. Uh, one way is go to Polk Street, the other is North Beach, Aquatic Park, and even I uh, used to walk to work downtown. So I like, I like that about it. But one thing Phoebe doesn't like is that Russian Hill doesn't have street sweeping. T try even with a broom trying to sweep here and, and underneath the stuff, you know, just all accumulates. Russian Hill is one of the only neighborhoods in San Francisco that doesn't get regularly scheduled street sweeping. The reason Rachel Gordon with San Francisco Public Works says is because decades ago, back when the city first introduced street sweeping, people who lived in Russian Hill fought to keep it out of their neighborhood. Russian Hill neighbors said we don't want it because they did not want to move their cars. But in the years since that decision, Phoebe says the neighborhood and the times have changed dramatically. Like Uber people park overnight, it's bottles of pee and uh, this, and people, who, unhoused people will leave their blankets around and that's why Phoebe is leading the campaign to get street sweeping into the neighborhood. But actually getting that done is a lot more complicated than simply asking the Department of Public Works to add a route. We don't have the resources right now to have a regular route, but we are actively looking at doing that, particularly in the high need areas, perhaps the Hyde Street corridor where there are a lot of businesses and a lot of trees that are dropping leaves. Rachel says DPW also wants to make sure a majority of the people in the neighborhood actually want street sweeping before the city goes ahead and adds a permanent route. That's why they've asked Phoebe and other supporters to gather signatures from their neighbors. But Phoebe told me that can be hard to do when a majority of the housing on certain blocks is apartments. So the petitions have been rather a joke in that I did some of them and I would pick blocks, not the dirtiest necessarily, but the ones with the fewest houses. And from any point of view, this is a silly way to uh, do street sweeping. But the city is standing by that way. They say right now they sweep the neighborhood once a month and are looking into doing more sweeping once they have proof of neighborhood support and more resources. In the meantime, though, Phoebe told me she isn't giving up. She hosts a neighborhood street cleaning event every month and continues to gather signatures to hopefully one day get city sweepers to help the neighborhood she's loved her whole life shine a little brighter.